This is a continuation of how to draw a badminton court uh, within PowerPoint. In the earlier screencast we got as far as this uh, this far with our, our, our court. Uh, what we're going to do now is add the side tram lines, uh, the net position and then the centre lines uh, across here. So to do the tram lines, again I'm going to use a rectangle. So I'm going to choose my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw it roughly the length of the court. But again I'm not worried too much about the size because when I go to format I can change it here. Now, the width of the tram line happens to be 0 0.46 meters, so I type 0 0.46 in that box, and the length of the court is 13.4 meters. So I do that uh, there. So I've now got it the right size. All I need to do is align it within the uh, court. Now I'm just going to drag it down um, so it's uh, in that sort of position. And again, I'm going to use my align tools. So I'm going to select the uh, the box that's the whole back of the court and we'll hold my finger on the shift key uh, to make sure I've got both boxes selected. I can now uh, align top which will move my tram line upwards and then align left will nudge it across into the right position. Okay, uh, We're going to make the backgrounds invisible uh, later on, we'll do that all in one go um, and that will then put this line across. Uh, I'm going to just copy and paste to um, create another tram line and again shift and uh, let me just do it again, I'll select the shape, select the outer box and in this case I'm going to align bottom which will move it down to the bottom of the screen and then align left will put it into the right position because it's aligned it on this left hand side. For um, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to make the whole court invisible uh, so it's not this kind of blue colour. So the easiest way for me to do that is to just drag my mouse around the whole lot and it will select all of the shapes in one go. If I then go to the Format tab and Shape Fill. Now I'm going to choose No Fill. The reason I'm going to do that is if I then put this onto any coloured background I'll get the colour shining through. I could make it white but if I then put it on say a blue background you'd have a white court rather than a blue court. So No Fill basically makes it transparent and while I'm here, if you want to change the outline, you can go to the shape outline options and you can either change the weight, okay, make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to set mine to two and a quarter and you could also, if you wanted to, to change the colour. So I'm going to just make the lines black for the purposes of this one. Okay. Right, we're now going to put the line in for the centre court, uh, for the net at the centre of the court. So I'm going to go to insert and shapes and then align and uh, it actually gives us these little red dots uh, in the middle of the shapes. So I can click on that red dot on the outer edge in the middle and then I can come down and if I let go of the mouse on that other one it's put that line dead in the middle of the uh, shape. Nice and easy for me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the format option and the uh, shape outline and weight. I'm going to set it to the same as before, two and a quarter and I'm actually going to make it so that it's dashes and it's a dashed line to show the net. Yep. And again I could make the colour black if I wanted to. Then for the line that goes from the middle of the back across to here I'm going to insert shapes and a line and then I click and I come across and it will line that up for me and I'll then do the same again on this side and Another trick that we can learn while we're here is I'm going to format that one correctly. So I'm going to make it black, make it weight two and a quarter, so it's all consistent. Having got one of my lines correct, if I go to the Home tab, Home ribbon, on the left-hand side there's this button called Format Painter. Now what it will do is it will copy the formatting. So I can click on that, and then I can come and I can reapply it to this line here. And that can be a useful technique when you're drawing your shapes. Um, uh, is if you get some of the shapes correct you can then uh, copy the formatting very quickly. Now having uh, drawn uh, my court, that's got all the dimensions on that I need, um, I'm now going to drag my mouse around it and I'm going to select everything that's inside. If I then go to format I can group it. So group and group and that makes it into one single object. Now normally I'd resize this so it fits on the page a bit nicer once it full screen. Um, if I started dragging by the corners Normally when you drag a picture by corners it will keep the proportions. Um, in this case it won't, so I'll show you that on the next screen card.